Okay guys, so I'm going to do uh, a little haul and it's bright and I'm going to try to do this before my daughter gets home from school because she tends to monopolize all of my attention. <clears throat> okay, Michaels, I hope this isn't going to be too bright, um, had all of their fall and Halloween stuff on clearance. Uh, Friday for 70% off and then Saturday they had it for 80% off so I got da -da 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 -da. here we go oh. this really cute box that is a journey let's see if I've got anything in it I don't, don't remember if I put anything in it or not oh, that's got all of her rainbow and bands in it but Anyway, they have these for, these are just the regular um, photo memory boxes. It's got a little place where you can put a little place card. These were on clearance for $1.99. I think they were really like $4.99, something like that. I just thought it was cute to store some of my stuff in. Um, they had these little beads. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these yet. They're like, they look like little little mini pumpkins. It doesn't say it's something you're supposed to scatter on your table, but I think I'm going to attach them to something. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with those yet. So I got that for, how much was it? Like 50 cents? Something like that? All right. And they had, I don't know, I got that at the Dollar Tree. They had these. And it was the celebrated Halloween bakeware decorative bags. And I just thought, these were so cute. I didn't get to use them this year. There's 25 in here. And I think I paid 50 cents for this one, too. But for next year, it's going to be great. Put cookies or cupcakes or something in it. Or even use them as my, my uh, sale bags. That would be cute, too. All right. Ah, uh, that's my Walmart haul. That's my Walmart haul. Let's see. Okay, here we go. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Midnight Magic Papers by Recollections. It is the Midnight Magic Halloween. Now, as you know, I think most of these books are like $19.99 at Michael's. Um, this one doesn't have a price on it. But, let's see if I can flip this if you can see it with the sun. I'll take out the some of the papers. So eerie and pretty. The colors are just not coming in. Oh, see look at that. Isn't that cool? Spiders and lace and skulls. But I got this. You are not gonna believe this. I got this for four dollars. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, four bucks. And normally these run like $19.99 or $14.99. But all the different papers, it's so cool. There's 48 sheets, 12 by 12. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that yet. Probably make my cards next year. Okay. So, this is what I'm really excited about. <laughs> this has a little magnet flap on it. Isn't that awesome? See how big it is? I got two this size. And then I got a bigger one. But <clears throat> she put my stuff inside. I got another box inside here. Let's see if I can get this out of here. Oh, oh, yes, 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 yes. I got everything with butterflies because I thought it would coordinate really well since they didn't have any coordinating boxes. Again, the little, this one has a Velcro, Velcro lid, but it's huge. I thought that would be so awesome to store my projects or some crafts in, but this was regularly $10.99. That's not focusing very well. Um, I got it at 80% off, so let's see, 11, so I paid $2.20 for this. $2.20. Awesome! Alright, and this one has just got decorated inside. Uh, it's got the foam, i got to take it out, but this one is the magnet one. I just thought this was just so beautiful. And then this one was, I'm sorry if you're getting seasick. Uh, regularly $12.99, so let's see, $13. So I got it for $2.60. Two bucks and 60 cents for this. See my hand? 
that huge box. Awesome. All right, now this one is bigger. It is. Yep, these two are bigger. See my hand compared to these? I don't know if it's got the size. Oh, there's the rest of my stuff I got. So we'll save that. And here's the other one I got. This one had birds on it, but it's got butterflies too. I like butterflies. Oh, it's for another project. All right, this one again has the magnetic flap. It's got a little lip at the bottom. But I thought that would be really cool too. Let's see. Again, $2.60. It doesn't have measurements on it, but it's a pretty good size. But anyway, I thought that was really neat. And the inside's kind of decorated too. So, that one smells kind of funky like mildew. I'll have to air that one out. But this one is Laugh, Love, Live. Some of you have been doing cross stitch with that on it. I might make have to make a really cool pattern with that. But uh, I like this one. I don't think this one has butterflies on it, but I just like the color scheme on this one. It was kind of classic colors, kind of muted. All right, so like I said, I got these like dirt, dirt cheap. I was so excited. And then I got this little one, which I think I might keep like extra floss or needles or something in it when I, this could be a really good travel kit. Cause again, like I said, this it's magnetic, it's awesome. This one I got for $1.20. $1.20. So cute. Alright, so I got that. Um, I used my 50% off coupon for this 11 by 11 plastic snap frame. Uh, I think the brand name is Q-Snap, but this is Loops and Threads. This is uh, the Michaels version. But uh, just a little one. I thought that would be good to travel with too. Ah, glow in the dark stickers. I got three packs of these. They are so adorable. Not sure what I'm going to do with them yet. Probably do, I don't know, maybe some uh, some cards next year. But I went ahead and got them because I thought they were just adorable. And I got these for 40 cents, I believe. Got that one. And then there was this one with the happy haunting and the boo and the so cute for Halloween. Nothing gory, just cute. And witches and bats and cauldrons. So. And we got a book of 306 stickers that I'm going to share with my daughter. We're going to do all kinds of stuff with these. But these are really cute too. And again, these were on clearance. Again, I think I paid 50 cents. Just so cute. We'll make cards with them and stuff next year. And then I went ahead and got um, some of you don't like the bobbin, some of you do. I am finding that I prefer the cardboard ones. And I and for a while there I was making them when I when I couldn't afford them, but but then again, these were only a dollar ninety nine for fifty six of them. Um, I had made my own out of old cereal boxes and used those for years. And then I got tired of cutting them and doing them, so I thought, nah, I'm gonna be a little lazy and just buy some this time. But I like the cardboard ones better than the plastic. I like the durance of the plastic. But if you carry, if you put on the number stickers, that DMC, that you can get a pack of, of uh, number stickers, um, they fall off. Unless you take the extra time to glue stick them on there, they eventually fall off. And it was frustrating. I have four or five bobbins. I have no clue what color they are. No clue. It's kind of frustrating. So, I went ahead and got some other paper ones because I, what I ended up doing with the flaw, with the um, with the plastic ones was writing with a sharpie marker. But um, I figured, well, if I, I've got these stickers that I could use, you know, I might as well go ahead and get the paper ones so the stickers will stick. All right. And then I went ahead and broke down and bought some 28 size 28 tapestry needles. I've got a whole slew of needles, mostly 26 and bigger. Um, but I wanted the short, these are these are short, I like that. So I'm going to use this on my 22 count fabric that I have. As a matter of fact, I told you guys in the past, I'm going to do, I'm going to do a, uh, that's the end of my haul for, for Michaels, I'm just tickled. Let's see, I paid uh, $26.69. Okay. Notice I got one, two, three, 
four, five, six storage boxes. The paper, the bags, the beads, the floss carriers, the stickers, and the needles for 26 bucks. You can't beat that. And I'm a frugal shopper too. I, I, I will use that coupon every time, every chance I get. I will, use, I will go in there sometimes to collect my yarn and go in one, once a day for a week with a 40% off coupon just to collect my yarn. Of course, then you guys know this is, that's my yarn stash. So, <laughs> eventually I'm going to do a stash video. I had a couple of people ask me to do that. These are boxes full of my completed works that I have for sale on Etsy. Um, mostly um, my crocheted stuff, but I also have a box of material that I'm going to make some pillows out of. But anyway, um, cross stitch wise, here's one of my bolsters. This is, uh, this is my 11 count, and I got so lucky. This is the gray 14 count that I've been working on, the light gray 14 count. I think I've got a good, oh goodness, at least five or six yards still on that. Maybe I should just kit up some of my patterns and start selling some kits. What do you guys think? Let me know and comment in the box below. Comment not in the box, but <laughs> and not in the description box, but comment below, please. Um, and let me know if, if you guys have any ideas on if, whether you think I should kit up some of my uh, projects. If you've gone out to Etsy, um, go look up Young 40 Mom, Y-O-U-N-G 40-M-O-M. And look at some of my patterns. And if you're interested in having them kitted up, I, I might just do that. But, um, yeah. Um, Walmart. Yes. Now, my other haul was Walmart. I went one day. And I had seen, sorry I'm making you dizzy, I'm trying to, Ellie, no, 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 baby. No, no. I had seen, I'm making a mess. Um, <clears throat> they had designer papers. Um, again, I'm not, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these. First they had them on clearance for $5. And then, so pretty. I love these papers. Aren't they nice? I there's no telling why I'm gonna do it. But for two dollars and fifty cents for a pack of fifty sheets of twelve by twelve, you cannot beat that. I make my own envelopes, envelopes, however you want to say it. Um, I, I've never done it with designer paper. I've always done it with old magazines, um, which I still have a slew of them. I will never use everything I've ever created because I just have so much. Um, because when I get started on a project, I don't stop. I just keep going and going and going. So, but anyway, so I got this $2.50 clearance at Walmart. Here's another one I got. $2.50. Now, if you were to look at these, would you think that these were the same paper pack? Well, guess what? They are. And I did not realize it until after I got it home. Same pack. Same papers. That's okay. So you figure I got a hundred sheets of 12 by 12 for five bucks. You cannot beat that. Now, some of you have used this, some of you have not. I don't know. I have heard about the water soluble canvas. I thought it was so cool. Um, checked on YouTube to see if some people had worked with it. I've worked it with wasted canvas. I did not know that they made a soluble canvas. And the wasted canvas I have is it's a bolster. Um, I want to say it's 11 count for like sweatshirts, but this is 14 count. It's only one sheet. It's eight by eight and a half. And what you do is you stitch it and then on any fabric, I mean any fabric, a t-shirt, a sweatshirt, um, a pair of pants, um, anything, a pillowcase, then you soak it in water and the soluble canvas just disappears. It fades away. And then you're left with your image. Now, each one of these comes with that little bear pattern. Um, it comes with a free design. And, yeah. It doesn't come with the bear pattern. I'm sorry. It comes with, the, like, a, a crest, some type of crest. And I think the tutorial, DMC gives a tutorial on this. I'll see if I can find it and put the link in the description box. But 
they show you how to do it and what it looks like with this actual free pattern that each one gives you. But the reason why I was showing you this is not only that is it a fascinating product, but I got, first I got three of them. And then I thought, well, that's not going to be enough. I'm a hoarder when it comes to stuff like this. So I went back and got a couple more. Look how much I paid for it. $2.50. Can't I just... I'm amazed. I am a bargain shopper, and when I find something like this, I cannot pass it up. So I have five of these that I will be doing projects with. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet, but I may end up giving one of these away in my next giveaway. That would be awesome. So, yeah, guys, tell me what you think. Should I put this in my next giveaway? I'll give one of these away. That would be cool, right? All right, well, I'm going to end this for now. I just wanted to do my quick haul. Um, it was short, sweet, and simple, but I got some awesome deals, and you just can't beat it. Soluble canvas. All right, peace out.